guys, it's Amanda from the St. Louis Science Center's Science Off Center team, and I've got two polymer experiments for you today that you can try at home. In case you don't know what polymers are, polymers are these long chain molecules that are in some things, like plastics, and because the molecules of polymers are so long, these long chains help give things like plastics kind of special properties. It makes it really fun to play with. You can see my polymer chains lined up there. You can probably notice there's some openings. So I find a place to stick things through. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We are going to try the old needle through the balloon experiment right now. That looks pretty good. Notice I didn't make my balloon real big. Just kind of blew it up a little bit because I don't want too much pressure on the inside. Now you've probably noticed in balloons that the top and the bottom, they tend to be a little bit darker in color than like the sides. That's because the air is not putting a whole lot of pressure right there. It's definitely pushing on it, but not as much as these sides here. So there are the spots where we'll find a little flexibility with the polymer molecules to get our needle through. So I'm going to add just a little bit of Vaseline to the needle just to sort of help reduce any unnecessary friction. A little friction will pop that balloon real fast. Clumsy fingers. And then I like to hold the needle in my right hand because I'm right handed and hold the balloon against me. And I'm looking right where I blew this balloon up, that dark area right there. And I'm going to just gently kind of twist my needle and push it in. There it goes. Now I'm only halfway there. I've got to get the needle out. So I'm looking at the top where it's a little darker in color there. You can probably see I found a good spot it looks like. And I'm going to put my fingers on either side and just push real gently. Oh, I got a little air escaping. There we go. And usually when it goes, it'll slip pretty quickly like that. And there I've got my balloon on the needle. It's not leaking any more air or anything like that. It's safely there. Now a lot of people like to try this experiment, but some people are kind of nervous when they do that. I don't blame you. I don't like it when the balloon pops. It's kind of scary and startling when it does that. So just in case you're not ready to try that, we have another one, very similar. I have a resealable, resealable sandwich bag here full of water. And just like the needle through the balloon, I'm going to stick a pencil through this plastic bag. But this one's a lot easier. You just have to push it through. Now. The important thing is not to push real hard or stab, but just push straight through to get it through successfully. I have managed to get 22 pencils into one plastic bag. So I invite you to try this at home and let me know if you can beat my record. So have a fun summer, try out these science experiments, and we'll see you at the Science Center.